The Welsh sewers are under pressure. Thousands of inappropriate items are being flushed, causing blocks all over Wales. It's the biggest problem we have, really. Blocks can cause sewer floodings, like on this playground, as well as polluting our beaches. Even if you know it all changes tomorrow and we turn it all around, there's still going to be a time lag because there's so much you know to, to come onto our beaches, you know, in the years to come. And you might be part of the problem without even knowing it. But all in all, it's a lot of money down the drain. Nick Holt is a flooding performance manager. He works for Welsh Water that supplies wastewater services. He's therefore informed any time there is a sewage flooding in Wales. We had a chat with him to learn more about the causes of sewage floodings. We deal with about 2,000 blockages a month and it, it's a bit difficult to estimate but we think anything up to 40-50% sort of uh, caused by the, the main issues are either fat oil and grease or rags, nappies and wet wipes. I mean, although they're fairly small in themselves, you know, they, they easily catch, they don't biodegrade um, and over time they just uh, accumulate into, into a ball of rags. I asked him if they had any incidents lately. Yeah, in Swansea um, a couple of weeks ago, um, it was the, the main cause was there was a section of tree trunk that somehow had been put in the, in the sewer. Um, so that was obviously the initial blockage, but core around that was were, were hundreds of wet wipes. That had caused flood into um, a sort of recreational area at the back of some houses. To a recreational area? Yeah, yeah, a playground and, uh, and playing field. Mm. Even though there is no doubt that sewer floodings are a problem, there are other aspects of the issue. A few miles outside of Cardiff lies Cockmore's Water Treatment Centre. It's the treatment centre for Glamorgan Valley. It receives around 2,000 litres of hazardous septic water a second. When the water arrives, it is treated through several processes. It is therefore crucial that the water treatment system works. But Cockmore's isn't the water's final destination. This is where the wastewater and sewage water is treated before it goes back into the ecosystem. Now if it doesn't reach this point because of a block that puts pressure on the system, then some of the water will have to be discharged into our seas. Now we're going to have a look at what the consequences of that is. When the wastewater is discharged into the sea, it will eventually find its way here, to the beach. This is one of the reasons why the Marine Conservation Society organized beach cleanups. Lauren Isley is a marine biologist and the organizer of this beach cleanup. She says that even though the vast majority of litter here comes from industry or visitors, litter from sewage discharges pose some particular risks. If we record um, things that we refer to as sewage related debris, so that includes things that people throw down their toilets that they really shouldn't. And it also includes not very nice products, um, sort of sanitary products, um, wet wipes, nappies, you know, anything kind of sanitary um, that people throw down their toilets instead of using a bin in their bathroom and popping the items in there. Um, and they can end up on our beaches all around the UK. All these kind of items um, can cause major problems in the marine environment. Not only are they, you know, they pose a health risk to visitors coming to the beach. It's not very nice to come and you know sit next to a nappy or you know some sanitary items, perhaps. Um, but also they pose risks to the marine animals. Um, you know, particularly because a lot of these items are made of plastic. You know, the plastic just gets smaller and smaller and smaller, um, and obviously then you know remains in the in the environment for a long long time. Um, and it's just such long lasting uh, material. But even though the effects are evident on our beaches, people persistently flush inappropriate items down our sewers. Mary Stevens is the head of marketing for Welsh Water. The company has felt the need to organize an informational campaign around the issue called Let's Stop the Block. We met Mary Stevens to ask her why people still flush these items. Blockages are caused by all sorts of things being put into our drains and systems and part of the problem is through customers pouring or flushing unsuitable things down the toilet or into the sink. It's actually illegal um, to put anything into our sewers that can cause damage to them or that can interfere with the free flow of the network. 
We have carried out a few focus groups around the campaign and there does seem to be at, at least some level of awareness that putting things like uh, nappies and things into the system is wrong, even though it does happen. And so we think that the problem occurs around the grey area, around things like a few droplets of, of fat being swilled in the basin and being put down the sink, uh, people flushing wipes and even cleaning products away that clearly say on the, on the packaging that it's OK to do so. According to Water UK, the water industry's lobbying organisation, Words like flushable and biodegradable does not mean that the product live up to the water company's standards. Manufacturers, on the other hand, claims that other tests are sufficient to determine whether something is flushable or not. However, some products do live up to the water industry's standards. The problem with cotton bud sticks and facial wipes are their ability to dissolve. Unlike toilet paper, facial wipes are designed to withstand moisture for it not to dissolve in the package. Toilet paper, on the other hand, dissolves quite easily. But if we were to film a cotton butt stick dissolve, we would have to keep the camera rolling for 450 years. But since there is no universal test, we consumers are left with a problem. This toilet paper here looks and feels just like regular toilet paper. But the texture and thickness of the toilet paper makes it likely that it can interfere with the free flow of the water. This means that it would actually be illegal for us to flush. What if I tell you that there's actually brands of toilet paper that you can't put down the toilet? Is that real? Are you serious? Really? I, I never would have guessed that. I didn't know that. I thought you could put anything down the toilet. Probably if you read on the packet, but... I don't know, I've never looked. How do you feel about some of the stuff being called flushable, whereas it actually damages your drains? I feel betrayed. I think that's naughty of yeah. the company. It should be legislation. If it's not meant to, if it's not suitable to be flushed, then they shouldn't produce it. Do the manufacturers have a responsibility as well? Yes, absolutely. And again, in the past, we've tried to work with um, industry to try and change the type of material they're using, you know, to create cotton bud sticks, for example. So instead of using plastics, you know, trying to encourage them to use paper instead, which is a lot more biodegradable and isn't so long lasting. Um, but obviously that's going to take time. And really, you know, we can we can all change our behaviour very quickly. You know, if people just put these items in a bin, popped it in their bathroom, then, you know, we wouldn't need to deal with the problem in the first place. Doesn't the, doesn't the companies with these, uh, that has these packages, don't they also hold a little bit of responsibility for this issue? I think it's part of a much broader issue. I think customer awareness is part of it. And certainly I know the water industry is very keen to lobby these companies as well. Now we do know that manufacturers are legally allowed to call their products flushable. This even though Water UK and Welsh Water claims that some of these products can cause blocks. Another question is, of course, the morality of the issue. At the end of the day, it is still us, the consumers, who choose to flush these products. But it would seem fair to say that manufacturers, if they would, could help change the perception of this issue.